What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. In this video we are going to be talking about how to configure dynamic DNS on a 48 firewall. Alright, so what is the use case for configuring dynamic DNS on a FortiGate firewall? The use case is going to be when your WAN ports are DHCP from your ISP, and your IP is going to change. So, you know, if you're managing the firewall from the external interface or you're configuring it for SSL VPN, you're going to want to configure dynamic DNS so that when that IP address updates, the URL will also update. And we're going to be turning the management off of the WAN eventually, but before we do that, we need to configure the VPN. I've got two hypervisors factory reset and ready to go. I actually need to get my computer behind this firewall in order to be able to access those and RDP to them. So I need to configure dynamic DNS so that I can configure the VPN next. So you're going to go to your firewall, you're going to go to network, and then go to DNS. And one important thing to note is that you have to use FortiGuard servers if you want to use their dynamic DNS service. If you click specify and use your own DNS servers, you'll see that the dynamic DNS option actually goes away. So we're going to go make sure you're using FortiGuard servers. And down here, we're going to flick on FortiGuard DNS. And we're going to listen on our CCG fiber interface because it's the one that gets a public IP. Our Comcast is a private IP because the modem is not in bridge mode. So we're going to use the public IP address. And I like using fortiddns.com as my URL. And I usually, for the most part, and sometimes the names are taken, but I just put my firewall name in here. So this one is going to be fglfw-mht-001. And that's available. And then we're going to hit apply. So it took a few minutes, but DNS finally propagated across the internet, and now we see that navigating to this uh, forwarded DDNS URL does get us into the firewall. So if you made it to the end of this video, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you. Um, I've taken a lot of your feedback. I've made some investments and improved the audio quality so these videos can be better for you going forward. I would greatly appreciate it if you could uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, like this video, and click the subscribe button. It means a lot to me and it helps the channel out a lot so I can keep making these videos for you guys. Thanks, man. See you on the next video.